Welcome back to News 13 First Edition. I'm Frank Johnson. Another house guest was evicted from Big Brother last night, leaving only the final four. Joining me now is former Big Brother house guest Marvin Latimer. Uh, the moment I think you've been waiting for all season long, Sari finally, finally evicted. You've been talking about how she's the biggest threat in the house yeah. for, for weeks now. Well, I mean, somebody who's been on Survivor, you know, all those years and yeah. been able to compete, you know, uh, seem like they would say, She's got great social <laughs> game, you know what I'm saying? So, but what was funny, I, I hope everybody noticed this the other night when Julie was uh, interviewing her, she was like, okay, you did Survivor, you did Big Brother. Yep. Which one was more difficult? Uh -huh. She said Big Brother. Yeah, yeah. She, and she said, it, you don't get a break? That is and exactly right. That's, she's one of the few people to say that on television. I had to do an interview uh, with the newspaper earlier this week about Big Brother, and that's what I told them, you're on 24-7. Mm -hmm. The lights are like regular TV lights, 24-7 your own talking social game 24 seven. When you're not doing that, you're playing the game. So it's never, never, it's the hardest part about coming off Big Brother is decompressing, assimilating back into regular society. And mm -hmm. just trying to just kind of temper your, your, you know, your brain down a notch. That's the hardest part. And uh, you brought a- It didn't uh, work for me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> still, I'm still on 10. Yeah. You, um, you, br you brought a little- uh, Show and tell, Frank, show and tell. show and tell. I had to show and prove just in case. Okay. I have not sold it on eBay like some of my former house guests okay. have. Can I, t can I touch it? Yes, 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 okay. yes. That, that's yes. metal. Yeah, that's there you go. Thanks, CBS. I got something right. out of the deal. Appreciate All right. it. <laughs> and, you know, e even though, uh, go getting back to Suri, it was a unanimous vote. Yeah. But it kind of seemed the past week that the sentiment in the house was going back and forth between her and Felicia. Felicia, yeah, that's, that's a difficult one. Felicia, believe it or not, was a better competitor. You know, you would mm -hmm. think that Felicia. But uh, personally, I thought Suri uh, threw a lot of comps because she didn't want the onus on her yep. of putting somebody up and that type of thing. So it is, it is a place that, in the game for that saying, I don't want blood on my hands, that type of thing. But after a while, if you win every week, you can win. You either win HOH or veto, that will get you to the end. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what Jag is doing. And you got to give him the benefit of the doubt for winning, you know, HOH or veto. If you win HOH, you can't get put up. And if you win veto, you take yourself off. Yeah, and it, it, you're insulated. It, it, it seems like uh, Jag and Bowie Jane both wanted Suri gone. Yes. Uh, but uh, Matt, seems to be close with both of them. So yeah. it didn't really matter for him. Yeah, he kind of had a final three, final four with both of those ladies and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and that really kind of insulated him from that opposite side of the house, keeping him safe all this time. He's one of the few people who's never been up. Like he's never been put up mm -hmm. all year, which is pretty fascinating. You know, that's why I said, I told you weeks ago, he has the inside track yeah. on getting the votes. This because of the, you know, uh, you know, sentimental vote, number <laughs> one. And then now he's winning things, and then he hadn't had any blood on his hands because when he did put somebody up, you know, he was just pretty nondescript. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> got to put somebody up. And you okay. know, he's played a, also, also, almost played a flawless game. Okay, what about Bowie Jane? We, we, we give her grief because she's a, a, a floater. Yeah. But she's won three she's won, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. more than that. She's, uh, she's represented, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she's really come upon herself and she's done well to make it, you know, because she really did float for the first couple of months and stuff, but she's found a way to improvise and overcome. And, you know, it's, it's kept her in the game. Yep. And she's HOH, so she's in the final she's, three. She, you're right. She's in the final three, which kind of puts her on finale night because uh, the way they do the, it's a lot, it's a lot of, you know, smash and grab right at the end. A whole lot of stuff goes on mm -hmm. at the end. And so she's going to basically be on finale night. So it's going to be between her and the other two. Now, the, the human calculus, how it's going to play out in the end, basically it's like this. Felicia has to basically pull the inside straight and win veto in order to take herself off because she's definitely going to be the target this week. Mm -hmm. And, but here's the, the beauty of that. If she takes herself off, she's going to have the sole vote to evict somebody that that's week. That's right. And that's probably going to be, uh, depends on, well, it depends on who, who, we, who she puts up. Yeah. It'll probably be Jag, I'm saying. So it that's, seems like yeah, it. so Jag might leave this week. That's a possibility. We'll see. But, but that's, a, that's a big F because right. Felicia's got to win. And you never know what the, the veto comp might be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of the best comps the, the past week was when they had to go underwater. I thought that was pretty ingenious mm -hmm. where you had to be fast, but you couldn't be too fast to make a wave. Yeah. So I thought that was a really, really a good, good comp. I hadn't, That's, that I hadn't seen that one before. And this week we finally saw a sneak peek or a look at the, uh, at the jury house. Yeah. Uh, 
Compare that to your jury house. Our jury house was straight pimp. It was the most fascinating house ever. It was on the coast of Puerto Vallarta, uh, Mexico, over on the west coast of Mexico. Mm -hmm. And it was a $4 million mansion. And it was about six bedrooms. We had a, a maid and we had a cook. Okay. And it was a, it was like heaven compared to being on, being on Big Brother. But it was so fascinating. The game was so big back then when I was on it. Uh, the producers would tell us we had to run in the house at any certain time because people were still trying to find out what a jury house was. <laughs> and, you know, they were, I mean, this, they would spend money to try to rent banner planes saying, uh -huh. Vote so and so or whatever, you know. It was just crazy. All the way down to Mexico. All the way down to Mexico. Wow. Yeah, some people just don't have anything to do, Frank. All right. <laughs> One week left. One, One week, week left. Today. I'm still putting my money, safe Vegas money, on Matt. Okay. I'm got to give him the the, the inside on, on that one. He's probably got the odds on to win it, but you okay. know, it's it's anyone's game right now. All so right. tune in, fans. Yes. Thank you so much. We shall it's see. It's going to be interesting. Alrighty. Stay with us. We'll be next right week. Back. Yep.